episode of And for our class objectives, identify the parts and features of an argumentative essay. Describe the characteristics of an argumentative essay. Explain the elements of an argumentative essay. That was a lame movie. Why? The special effects were bad. The monsters were obviously fake. I think the movie was good because the acting was believable. Yes, the acting was good but the horrible special effects were too distracting and caused some awkward moments. Why do you think we argue? Is it because you want to get your point across? Or you want others to believe in what you have to say? Or it could be both. An argumentative essay does the same thing. It tries to convince readers of your point of view. Like, are cats better than dogs? Or, is chocolate better than candy? Or should we have face-to-face -face classes or continue distance learning? These are just some of the topics that can be discussed in an argumentative essay. An argumentative essay is a genre of writing that requires to investigate a topic, collect, generate, and evaluate evidence, and establish a position on the topic in a concise manner. An argument states a claim and supports it with reasons and evidence from sources. Introduction A compelling and interesting first section of your paper that tells about the issue and has an attention-getting hook. Background Information Readers are informed about the topic, the arguments being made in support of the question about the topic, and opposing arguments. Thesis Statement One or more sentences that express the main idea of an essay. It makes a claim directly answering a question. Claim A statement or assertion that is open to challenge and that requires support while a counterclaim is the opposite of the argument. Evidence refers to facts, documentation, or testimony used to strengthen a claim. It supports an argument or reach a conclusion. Reasons. This tell why the claim is made and it is supported by the evidence. They support the thesis and form argument with evidence. Refutation. This is the part of an essay that disproves the opposing arguments. It is always necessary in a persuasive paper to refute or answer those arguments. Conclusion. It closes the essay and tries to end the issue. The aim is to convince the reader that your essay has covered all the most important arguments about the issue and that your main premise is the best position. Now, let's look back on the conversation of Chris and Rina. Label each statement as evidence, counterclaim, refutation, or claim. Here are the answers. So the first one, that was a lame movie, is actually our claim. And the evidence, the special effects were bad, the monsters were obviously fake. I think the movie was good because the acting was believable is our counterclaim. And yes, the acting was good but the horrible effects were too distracting and caused some awkward moments is our refutation. Did you get them right? An argumentative essay should be convincing. The written discussion is about a single topic. It provides background information. It states the author's claim clearly. Presents reasons for the claim. 
presents logical evidence to support the reasons for the claims, recognizes and refutes the opposing claim, uses transitional words and phrases, well-organized, has a reasonable conclusion. Introduction It introduces the problem and gives background information needed for the argument and the thesis statement. It contains a contextualization and concise explanation of the claim you are arguing for or against. Body The body of the essay contains reasons. Each paragraph talks about one reason. The reason is included in the topic sentence and is supported by details or materials. These supporting materials can be examples, statistics, personal experiences, or quotations. Conclusion The conclusion restates the main claim and gives one or two general statements which exactly summarize the arguments and support the main premise. How do you come up with a good argumentative essay? First, you need to have a good thesis statement. Your writing should have a debatable thesis statement that people could reasonably have differing opinions. Have a look at these thesis statements and select the best revised thesis statement based on the original one. Number one, in this paper, I will explore the topic of gaming in education. Which should be the best thesis statement? The answer is C. As a new generation of students to enter college, it is time for higher education to use gaming to appeal to students and make learning more engaging. Here is the second one. Most states have animal rights laws that are too lenient. Which of the following would best fit as a thesis statement? The answer is C. Animal abuse laws in most states are so lenient that offenders face almost no punishment, so stronger, stricter laws are necessary to protect animals. And for the last one, it is about time that we support small businesses better in this country. Which of the following would be the best thesis statement? The answer is C. Because small businesses can make such an important difference in a struggling economy right now, and our government needs to offer better financial support for individuals seeking to start a business. Another tip in writing your argumentative essay is to organize your ideas. After choosing a topic, you should think whether you agree or disagree with the statement. You can use the pro and con t-chart. Now, I want you to write down the pros and cons on the given statement, cell phone should not be allowed in university classroom. Here are the possible answers. For the pros, cell phones distract students from learning if they send messages or play games in class. Cell phones might ring in class and disturb the teacher. Students could use cell phones to cheat on tests. And for the cons, cell phones can easily be turned off and kept out of sight. University students are not children. Cell phones are important in an emergency. 
Cell phones can be useful tools for education such as being used as a dictionary or to make memos. So from here, you can start writing your argumentative essay. Lastly, you may follow this flowchart as your guide in writing your argumentative essay. So it would start with your thesis or belief statement to be followed by your reasons. And for each reason, there should be support. Then to be followed by the counter-argument addressing the opposite point of view. And lastly, your conclusion or call to action. Let's analyze the sample essay. In the first paragraph, we can find the hook and the thesis statement. The hook is, every school day, more than 7,000 students become dropouts. Annually, that adds up to about 1.3 million students who will not graduate from high school with their peers or schedule. In our thesis statement, students should never drop out of high school because they will be far more likely to spend their lives periodically unemployed on government assistance or cycling in and out of the prison system. In the second paragraph, we can find the topic sentence and then the reasons. The topic sentence is, one reason that someone should not drop out of high school is that they are far more likely to struggle keeping a good job. And then for the reasons, most places would prefer to hire a worker that has completed high school. This is important because even a person is capable of doing the job, the employer might overlook them simply because they are a quitter. Even if the dropout gets a job, others that are more educated are more likely to be promoted faster because they are more qualified. And in the last paragraph, we can find the restated thesis statement and then the suggestion or call to action. For the restated thesis statement, it is, all in all, it is quite clear that nothing good will come from students dropping out of high school. And for the suggestion or call to action, when school gets tough, seek the help needed in order to graduate on time and help make the future brighter. So, can you now write your own argumentative essay? I hope so. So that's it for today. See you in another episode of